Hey everyone, and welcome back to FSI DFS. I am McKinley412, and today we're looking at this early slate on DraftKings. We got a nice five game here, here uh, with some very impressive uh, pitching options on the slate, just up and down. Uh, 10 pitchers, you can make a case for nine of them. Um, it's pretty amazing. I don't think we've seen this slate this stacked uh, top to bottom in a long time, maybe all season long. Uh, so we'll just kind of dive right in. Make sure you're paying attention to the weather. I haven't really looked at the weather at all, but we're playing with some Southern California teams uh, and some domes. So I, I don't think that's going to be an issue. But, you know, keep really, keep up to date with the lineups, COVID news, all that stuff. Uh, you know the deal. So right up at the top, Max Scherzer, 10.2K. We've been talking about him for a couple starts now. He's just pitching light out. Uh, out of his mind, 31 40, 44, 30, another 38, 40 point game. He's just out of his mind right now. He's going into Coors. Uh, and so there's the Coors factor that you do have to pay attention to. Um, but really, Scherzer, his one big issue is letting up the home run ball. That's kind of always been his issue all his, throughout his career, but he's not letting up the home run. Uh, you know, he might let up one or two in Coors, but I, I don't expect too much out of this Colorado offense. Still, at 10.2K, I still think he is a top-notch elite play um, at the top. Adam Wainwright, uh, pitching for St. Louis. The Cardinals are just absolutely blistering hot right now. I think tonight was their 11th straight win in a row. Uh, they just vaulted into, you know, pretty comfortable wild card spot uh, as we kind of head into the home stretch here. Now, Wainwright, he's been pitching very well. You know, he's still going deep in the games. He's got that 100 pitch count uh, ceiling. He's going, I mean, he's going six, seven, sometimes eight innings into games. But his strikeouts, uh, strikeouts are really the main concern with him. Uh, he's going up against Milwaukee. They've secured pretty much everything. Um, so, I don't know. I, I don't have too much Wainwright interest. I guess that's what I'm trying to say here. At 9.6K, because of his limited K upside, even though he is pitching well, um, I, I think there are better point per dollar plays on the slate. But, you know, if you land there, perfectly fine with that. I do like Logan Webb a whole lot more. Uh, I think Logan Webb is probably, is, is, is he the, uh, how is this, most underrated pitcher in the league like this guy has been a stud for a couple months now um you know he had 500 runs and 300 runs here but like if you scroll down and like if you go to like his larger game log like it is just zero one zero zero one two one two earned runs against like it is insane what this guy's been doing he's been a fantastic dfs darling uh with you know he's never really priced up too high He's getting you two to three times salary nearly every single start out. And I was going up against a San Diego offense that just seems to be collapsing. Uh, this team is in shambles right now. They're fighting in the dugout. Uh, so Webb, I think, you know, pairing him with Scherzer is probably going to be my favorite cash uh, option here. Uh, so Webb, Scherzer, I think one, two, as you're starting pitchers and cash lineups is going to be pretty popular. Uh, but like I said, there's a whole lot of other options. A pitcher, I, I don't think can go wrong in many spots. Hugh Darvish, uh, he's going up against that San Diego or San Francisco offense, much stronger, uh, an elite offense here. You know, he has his ceiling games, but he's also had some duds lately. I right? kind of see in his last uh, start against San Francisco against this team, he put up negative six points. Uh, so he's kind of been going back and forth with a, a great score. And then, you know, in the negatives, great score in the negatives. He just, I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, so flip of a coin, uh, GPP play for him at best. Hauser going up against St. Louis. Hauser, while he has been pitching lately, I don't want to be touching anybody against St. Louis and their offense right now because, like I said, they're on an 11-game win streak. They're on a mission uh, to get to the playoffs. It is pretty impressive what this offense has been able to do. Morton, 7.5K going up against Arizona. Now, this is the same Morton who, you know, we were paying near 10K for uh, just a month ago. And it's not like he's done any worse. Um, so he's got a serious price drop. Like, if this was any other slate uh, and we saw Charlie Morton at 7.5K, we would say he's an absolute, like, lock and load. 
uh, for cash. Like he's going to definitely hit salary uh, value for sure. Um, he's got a nice matchup. He's got the great floor and he's got the strikeout upside. Just like everything is pointing his way. And now he's got a 2000 salary price uh, decrease. Uh, so point for dollar wise, Morin, he's a phenomenal play. And this just continues the trend of there's just so many good plays. Uh, it's really, where do you want to go? What bats do you want to go to? Because with all these amazing pitching options, it doesn't leave the door open for many great hitting spots. Uh, so <laughs> it's just kind of where you're going to land. Uh, just kind of plug and pray and hope. Madison Bumgarner, uh, better real life pitcher than he is DFS pitcher. Uh, but 6.8 K, I mean, him again. He's kind of like Morin. He got this just absolute crazy price drop, but he is in a very tough matchup going up against Atlanta. They're still trying to secure the division. Uh, so they're playing, uh, I don't want to say for their playoff lives. I mean, they're still in decent shape here. Uh, kind of getting to the end of the season. But Bumgarner, you know, he's not generating a whole lot of strikeouts. His ceiling's pretty limited. If he does let up a lot of hits uh, or a couple earned runs here and there, he doesn't really have the K upside to really uh, – recover from there uh, so it's 6.8k uh, he's not gonna burn you or anything but I, I think there's still plenty of other better point for dollar plays uh especially like orton who's you know not too much higher than him bassett 6.1k i i couldn't believe my eyes when i first saw this i mean this is a guy who we're paying 10k for uh who had a floor of 20 points uh it seems like every single start and now he's going up against a seattle offense and he's 6.1k and I couldn't believe it. And then, you know, I thought about it and I, I was like, you know, he's coming back from the aisle. He got hit in the face. Read more into it. He hasn't had any rehab starts. Uh, so he probably is going to be on a pitch limit here, a pitch count uh, at this moment. I haven't seen any number uh, suggesting what his pitch count is going to be. Uh, I mean, my best guess, I don't know, 450. Maybe he goes four innings. I don't know. But still, four innings out of Bassett, if you can get that three, four innings out of him, I mean, he's more than capable of hitting, you know, 12 to 16 DK points on a 6.1K, you know, he's going to pay off his salary. So uh, I don't like playing guys off the IL. Uh, you guys know that by now. And like I said, he's probably going to be on a pitch count just because he hasn't pitched uh, since he, his injury. Uh, so he's probably going to be on a pitch count. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe something will come out before the game tomorrow. But 6.1K, you definitely have to be paying attention to him just because of the talent and uh, the price tag on him. Gucci on the other side of that uh, game, you know, he's kind of been up and down. He's going to kind of be in that GPP route. You know, flip the coin. You don't, want, you don't know what you're going to get. It could be 20 plus points. It could be negative five, as you see. Uh, so he, this is, you know, earlier on the season, he was great uh, in, you know, providing a floor for you at least he was going to get you 15 points uh it seemed like every single time out he has been more hit or miss uh in the past few months so kaguchi 5.5k though 5.5k <laughs> that's crazy uh so i mean you can make a case for that just because more than half the time he's he's going to get you at least double digits so he can get you 15 points get you three times salary i mean that's the equivalent of sure's are getting you 30 so uh, he's more a capable point for dollar wise of getting there. It's just, it's, it's a bit more risky, especially with all the safer options on the slate. And then you got Kyle Freeland going up against the Dodgers in Coors. And he's kind of the one guy who, you know, uh, he did have that nice little stretch I, probably like a month ago, but after that, not too much. So as you can see, uh, pitching is just absolutely loaded. Uh, Scherzer and Webb and Morton, those are probably like the three standouts uh the three guys that i'm really going to be focusing hard on um especially in cash but like wainwright and gpp darvish and gpp i uh, even um, garner bassett kikuchi you know i don't have any issue with that they're still great pitchers uh in solid spots as well so let's kind of turn towards the bats you know i mean first bats we got to talk to it's really the only bats that are quote unquote safe uh, on the slate and that's the dodgers uh, they're going up against Freeland in Coors. And really, okay, one bet that we do have to talk about, Albert Pujols. If he is in, 
Uh, and he's batting in that cleanup spot in that four spot. He's got the righty lefty matchup in Coors. Dodgers, they probably have an implied run total. I haven't looked at the odds or anything, but I would assume that their implied run total is close to seven, uh, if not greater than. And if he's going to be batting cleanup for 2.6K, you just have to play him. Um, I mean, I guess you don't have to. It is baseball. He could easily go 0 for 4. Uh, so, but he's going to be insanely owned uh, if he's batting in that cleanup spot. So Pools 2.6K. Everybody else, though, uh, it's just kind of like any one of these guys can hit a home run tomorrow. Um, you know, lefty, righty, it doesn't matter. Going up against Freeland. You know, if you watch the soccer videos uh, here on DF, uh, FSI and you pay attention to, you know, Gator Guy and what he says, it's like a Man City slate. Or, you know, you just kind of spin the roulette wheel, spin the wheel, and just kind of hope that you land on the right guy. Uh, it's kind of a deal here. You know, maybe if you land on bets. Hope he hits a home run. Muncie, Turner, Eric Turner, Smith, Seeger, Pollock. You know, any one of these guys could could hit a home run. Uh, you just kind of spin the wheel and, and hope that you got it on the right one. So Dodgers, easily the number one on the slate tomorrow. And everybody else, just given the pitching matchups, there's no one team that absolutely stands out. There's definitely, like, pricing that stands out. Uh, St. Louis is one that uh, – kind of jumps out to me just with how good they have been with how cheap they are you know Hauser he has had a nice run but he's not like an ace absolutely just like mowing down teams or anything uh so like Hauser he's a righty so you're two uh switch hitters I guess on Car on Carolina on St. Louis are Edmund and Carlson uh, Edmund probably gonna be leading off Carlson he could be in that five spot like he was on Wednesday night but the two guys that really kind of have those some some of them better numbers against right-handed pitching are guys like O'Neill. Sosa has got great numbers against right-handed pitching this season uh, and Goldschmidt. So those are going to be the five that I'd be uh, kind of coring around, um, coring around, building around. Um, but like I said, Goldschmidt, he's in that first base spot. But if if you get Pujols at 2.6K or whatever it was, uh, I mean, he can really open up the salary for you and you can jam in a guy like Scherzer and Webb. Uh, but these are kind of the guys that I'd be targeting for St. Louis. Uh, the other team that kind of stood out with, in terms of like salary, um, or not salary, sorry. Well, we're already here. So let's just talk about Oakland. Um, Oakland, the best numbers on Oakland, uh, it's Olsen. It's actually not Marquez uh, against left-handed pitching. So it's Olsen, Harrison, Chapman, and Ian Gomes. These are like the four guys uh, on Oakland that I would be definitely targeting. They got the greatest numbers, the best numbers against right or left-handed pitching. Uh, I mean, they're a little bit more expensive, so it's going to be kind of tough to fill in like, you know, um, Scherzer and uh, Webb with them. But I mean, Scherzer and Morton, let's see where this puts you at. 3.6K. I mean, that's more, more than doable. And you can see like they're not cheap bats by any means. Um, but you're able to jam these guys in just Morton can open up so many things. And if you go Morton and uh, instead of Scherzer, you drop down to Webb for the extra thousand savings. I mean, maybe you can throw in like a large Dodger stack. Uh, so I, salary, I guess, isn't going to be too much of an issue because um, there, there is going to be that value on this slate. Um, Milwaukee, not really too interested in Milwaukee. Like I said, you know, Larry, he's a decent pitcher. They're just priced up a little high, um, but you'd be going with like Urias. Uh, you'd be going with Escobar, Narvaez, Wong. Those are kind of the guys I'd be focusing on. Colorado, no interest in them going up against Scherzer. Seattle, they're, they're too pricey for me. I'm probably going to have very limited interest in them. Atlanta, going up against Bumgarner. You know, he doesn't really strike too many people out. He is going to get the ball tossed around the park. Uh, so they're able to string some runs, get some home runs off of him. Uh, they're probably going to be one of, probably not going to be too owned uh, tomorrow. I don't know. It, it's tough. Like, like I said, <clears throat> there's outside of the Dodgers who are chalk and Colorado, who I don't want to play against Scherzer. You have eight teams who are all in like tough matchups uh, for bats. So I mean, really, you're just going to kind of be picking where you want to go um, and going on from there. San Diego, they're dirt cheap uh, outside of Tatis and Machado, 3.8K for their next guy. But against Webb, uh, Webb's been really well, been doing very well. So I, don't, 
I wish I had more answers for you with the bats, um, but it's going to be jamming uh, the Dodgers. St. Louis, they're very cheap. I like Oakland uh, going up against uh, Kikuchi here. So I think they could do some damage, but pitching is just absolutely loaded. A lot of bats are going to struggle uh, this afternoon. So I've been talking long enough. Uh, so if you made it this long, thank you uh, for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button. We're really trying to get to 3,000. Uh, here by the end of the season so uh thank you for all of your support thank you for all the the, the comments it's been great uh, reading the comments and following along throughout the season so good luck in your contest we do have another video out uh for the main slate or it will be coming out so make sure to check that one out from mega ruler uh 231 he'll have you covered for that uh main five game slate happening later in the evening uh so as always good luck in your contest and we will see you in the next video